Simple Data Backup, or SDB for short, is a free, efficient, trustworthy, and easy-to-use software program that you can use every day to make backups from your Windows PC. All you need is a portable hard drive connected to your PC via a USB port. In your internet web browser, go to the Simple Data Backup website. Click on the download link for the free edition. The program is only 8 MB in size and will download quickly. This quick start guide will only focus on the free edition which will be adequate for most home users. Go to your downloads folder in File Explorer and double click on the installation file. Follow the instructions. The default options are recommended. After the installation, the program opens and you are ready to get going. Creating a backup is the process to define what exactly will be backed up from your computer. A name for the backup definition is optional. Click on the button to add a folder or file to be backed up. Select a specific folder from the drop-down structure that appears. The backup destination is specified on the right. Select the drive name for your portable hard drive. This button generates a destination name for the backup folder on that specific drive. When you select a folder, all the subfolders in that folder will automatically be backed up also. In this quick start guide, four folders are selected one after the other. Take a moment to observe the process. Disable the Schedule option. This means you will manually control when the backup is made. Note the format as Windows Direct File Copy. Select the option to always show the summary window when the backup is finished. One advanced option that can be recommended is to ignore the warnings for long file path names Note the number of incremental backups that will be made in between full backups. The backup that we have defined will be initiated manually whenever the need arises. Click on Run Backup. Select the only backup definition and click OK. You can cancel the backup within 5 seconds if you do not want the backup to continue. The first time you run this backup to the destination drive, a full backup will be done. This could take quite a while, depending on the size of the folders and files that you specified for the backup. 
As a guideline, one terabyte of data could take up to four hours during the full backup. The log file can be viewed in Notepad by clicking here. All folders, subfolders and files that were copied during the backup are indicated. Return to SDB by closing the Notepad view with the X in the top right hand corner. Exit SDB with the OK Close button. To run the backup as part of your daily procedure, start SDB from the desktop shortcut that was created during the installation or find it from the Windows Start menu. All you have to do now is select Run a Backup Now. After a full backup, subsequent backups will be incremental. That means only new files and folders or changes to existing files and folders will be copied during the backup. It will take substantial less time to run an incremental backup. SDB verifies whether any folders or files have been deleted from the source. It then deleted from the backup destination. This prevents the backup drive from being cluttered with unused data. Logs from previous backups can be viewed. Changes to the backup definition can be made any time, similar to the way the original definition was specified. Folders, subfolders and files can be changed, removed or added. The built-in automated method to retrieve data from the backup is available under additional options. All the folders that were backed up can be restored or just selected ones. Windows File Explorer can also be used to access or restore folders and files from the destination drive. This is possible because the direct file copy format was specified for the backup. This video was just a quick start guide to SDB, not intended as a complete tutorial. For more information, the comprehensive built-in user guide will assist.